Good day, all. Another vlog from Mums about my mother-in-laws. So I thought I would just grab some footage whilst here. So we've been having a few days of chilly weather. Some things like the fukura is still blooming. Of course, can't kill good old English ivy. Under the little side yard where the clotheslines are. <laughs> the owl to keep crows off here. And then down for the pond view. Oh, look how pretty. This is a ginkgo tree we had put in hmm, maybe four or five years ago. But look how beautiful that shape of that is without its leaves. And of course, when it has its leaves, it's lovely. So just a quick little good morning from Mums for today's postcard vlog. I thought it would be fun and kind of funny to show you my husband's uh, old childhood in a bedroom. Well, and as a young adult, of course. Now, of course, it wasn't decorated like this when he was a child, um, although it was full of antiques and he was not allowed to have posters or anything other than artwork on the wall, which is why he says he doesn't know anything about pop culture. But the, the old baby pram, uh, he and his sister and his mother and his grandmother were all pushed in that baby pram, so I think it's kind of fitting that it's ended its way back up into this room, although it wasn't there when he was growing up. And uh, the old shade there on that lamp, I always like that. It's old Victorian images cut out, and it was made by some old uh, spinster aunt. I mean, who knows when? I think maybe the, the 1900s. But there's a lovely view of the pond from here, and often when we stay... Uh, we usually stay in this room. And although my husband does not love the antique bed in this room, he did grow up sleeping in it. And uh, it was slept in by his uh, grandmother and his great-grandmother. So, And of course, Wind in the Willow toys from when he was a child. And this was his uh, bathroom growing up. And uh, he also says this is the reason that he prefers baths to showers, because uh, growing up this was his bathroom. And you'll see that this bathroom has um, a lovely old clawfoot tub in and there's no shower in this room although there's a sh uh, showers in the house he had to use a different room to use the shower but this was his bathroom so he mainly took baths and uh, I love the old Nantucket poster and of course the antique bottles on the edges of beadboard is very Cape Cod um, but yes we I've used this bath as well it's actually quite nice to lean back and uh, you can get a view of the pond when you're in there I mean I just love the I love old things anyway so it's very much an old Cape Cod sort of bathroom with the old clawfoot tub the old taps the old sink the beadboard and uh, of course I'm sure this tub has seen better days but no one really uses it anymore now except for if we stay for a few days in a row my husband usually makes sure he he takes a bath but I do love this old uh, bench it's quite nice and again, it's just a, I know it's just a bathroom, but I, I do like this room. It's homey, and uh, since I've used it myself for many, many years, uh, I kind of have a connection with it as well. And it is nice to sit in the bath and watch the pond and the birds. So when we aren't enjoying the sea at Bunny Hall, we can enjoy the pond at Mum's. So I hope you like this uh, funny idea. I was here and I had to do some things for mom and get some things out of the attic. So while I was up here, I thought I'm going to take a quick little video of the bedroom and the bath. I thought it would be kind of fun to share. Very Cape Cod. All right. That's the bathroom and the bedroom. Well, before we head out and I close out today's short uh, Cape Cod postcard vlog, I'm just heading out to the compost bin because uh, there was a, um, a pumpkin or a gourd I wanted to keep at the end of autumn and I completely forgot about it. And then my sister-in-law reminded me that she just tossed it on the compost bin uh, the other day. So I'm just heading over to grab it. I wanted to, um, it was just really pretty and it was fun and warty and I thought it would be fun to gather its seeds and see if I can grow it for this coming season. It doesn't look quite as good as it did um, when it was fresh, um, but it's just had really fun warts. And it used to have a bit more green on it, so what I thought I would do is I'll take it home, cut it open, let the chickens have at it, and then I will collect up the seeds and see if I can uh, grow the same style. Now, of course, I don't know if the seeds will breed true because I don't know if it was hybridized, but we'll find out when we grow the seeds. And plus, I kind of like doing surprise seeds that way just to see what you get in the... Uh, next autumn so 
I'm going to grab that before I head out, and I hope you enjoyed uh, today's funny little blog. Um, I think this compost pile has a lovely view of the pond. Uh, it just happens to be this is the best spot for this compost pile just because it gets the air and the, the, the moist air from the pond. This isn't a huge garden. It's maybe about four acres, um, but I do think that this is a lovely view for a compost bin. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to grab this pumpkin and head on home, and thank you again for sh uh, joining me for today. And until tomorrow, remember, stay creative. Cheers. Cheers.